Hey everybody, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl. I don't care. Um, 500 of you out there, awesome. I'm trying to keep up with the messages, trying to keep up with the comments. Um, it's uh, it's been really cool. I'm really happy that uh, that these are working out. Um, this uh, issue is going to be on beat mapping. Um, that's what Glitch Boy wants, and that's what Glitch Boy gets. So on with our show. Hello, my ninjas. Are you ready for that special something? That special something that only the ninja can give you? Okay, seriously. Um, so, uh, you guys have probably watched my little shout-out to Glitch Boy, who is my 500th ninja. And uh, this was his request, and uh, I'm going to do this today, hopefully before I go home. Um, and uh, this is about beat mapping. All right, so what I did is I took this old tune, and this old song was done probably in the late 60s, early 70s, which means it wasn't done to a click. So what I, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I brought in this song, I'm going to go to the track that it's on, and I'm going to go over to my inserts, and I'm going to go metering BPM counter. Now, the BPM counter is going to attempt to figure out what the tempo is of the song um, by analyzing its transients. So here we go. It may take a little while, because the song is so smooth. I'm imagining it's probably around 80 or 81. Hey, look at that. Ah, oh, good. Okay, so we got our basic tempo. It says 80. So I'm going to go back here and change my tempo to 80. And hopefully that'll be uh, close enough to start with. So the next thing I need to do is I need to go view, uh, configure global tracks. And I'm going to look at beat mapping. So what you do first is you grab the piece of audio and you hit analyze. And what it's going to do Analyze is going to look at all of the transients within that waveform, and it's going to create a line. So I'm going to zoom in here, and control arrow to the right. Now these lines here, these are the transients of the audio. This here is Logic's grid. These are the bars and beats. In order to link the bars and beats to the uh, to the beats in the song, we're going to uh, we're going to have to use beat mapping. Now, very important concept. Okay, we're changing tempo so that Logic follows the song. Okay, Logic is going to follow the song. So it'd be like we're snapping our fingers and we speed our we speed our snapping up and slow it down according to the song. So check it out. Let's find the first beat. Okay, well, that's pretty much the first beat. And uh, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit. Now, it helps if we have... We'll probably want to listen to a click, so I'm going to go down to the metronome here and turn it on. Zoom back in here. And let's see. see, it's already getting a little off. Okay, it came a little late. Now, did you see what I did? I grabbed right here, it made a yellow line, and then I just shoved it over until it linked up. You see how late it's getting? So I pull it over, boom. Now there, it's way off. So I'm going to get back in here. Let's see. So he slows way down, that horn player does. So let's see. That also needs to go over there.
Actually, maybe the next one over. See how they're like fluctuating all over the place? So what it's like when bands used to record with a click. Bop, ah, he's all sloppy. So let's see if we can get that. And there we go. So after a whole lot of work, you'll end up with a tempo map that matches your song. Um, so now if we listen to the click, the click should follow along. So here's the cool thing. If um, if your tempo is reasonably on, even though it's an old 70s song that, uh, you know, wasn't recorded to a click, we can go into our drum beats now. And... Uh, Let's try that. And our, our uh, Apple Loops are going to follow it. Now, granted, that Apple Loop was originally recorded at like 95, so it's kind of slowing it down a little bit. And I'm just tossing it in. I'm not really um, using a lot of uh, discretion here. But as you see, it can be a really helpful tool if you're doing stuff like remixing. So there you go, beat mapping. Now, New York City. Uh, the 28th, the Logic user group in New York City is, um, I believe it's a Dales Pro Audio or something like that. Um, but there's a Logic user group in New York. I'm just going to go to that. And whoever wants to go, cool. And afterwards, we'll grab a drink. It'll be all good. Uh, to those of you who have, who have emailed me or sent me a message regarding New York, let's just make it happen. Let's just um, let's meet there and go from there. Because I don't know a thing about Manhattan. And um, you know, I'm sure that you guys can, uh, can figure it out. <laughs> Help me figure it out. Anyway, I look forward to seeing y'all, and uh, to those of you I don't see, I hope you're going to have a great uh, week. Ciao.